guys, it's me, Kinky Styles 1980. I hope everyone is doing well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I stain my patio floor, my concrete floor turquoise. So I purchased most of these items at either Home Depot or Lowe's. So let's talk about what I got. So I purchased this adhesive remover. Um, I used my lighting kit because I was doing this at nighttime a lot of the time after work on the weekends, so I needed some lighting. I purchased this um, scraper, but it wasn't doing what it needed to really do, so I bought a heavy duty one. This one right here with a long handle, and the blade is a lot sharper. I also purchased um, water hose. I'm going to need those anyways for my garden, but... So I purchased that and I got a broom and also this brush, um, my goggles and my mask to protect my face. I got this bucket to help with the water, um, these gloves. I also purchased these knee pads um, to protect my knees and also my back. I also purchased this liquid called Awesome. Um, it helps remove the glue, the adhesive. I also got this heavy duty um, citrus degreaser. I got this concrete patcher to help patch up some of the cracks that I had on the concrete. And of course, I also have my daughter Madison help me out because she's so awesome. And this is the before picture. This is what the concrete looks like. You can see all the adhesive that's on the floor. And we're going to get to work. So let's go ahead and get started. So like you see here, this is the adhesive remover. And I'm going to use that to remove most of the adhesive with my blade here, my scraper. So let me just tell you how the process works. So as you can see on the can, it says 30 minutes. You see that 3-0 right there? Okay, so you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, let You let it set, and then you go ahead and you remove the adhesive. Now this is the trick. You cannot leave it on for more than 30 minutes because what it would do it will actually um, make the adhesive harder and then it's harder for you to take it off and basically um, it's, you can't take it off. So you have to start out with a small area. You can't do like the whole patio at one time. Like I said, you only have 20 to 30 minutes um, anyways. Um, so anyways, I also use this plastic bag. You see me have a um, trash bag on top of it. It kind of helps let it set. But just remember, you have to um, make sure you have a timer on because 20 to 30 minutes, you have to try to remove the adhesive off. So I use this broom or this brush or whatever to kind of like, um, I don't know, smooth it out, trying to even it out so that way I'm not wasting a lot of the adhesive. So yeah, um, I feel like this clip right here is super boring, so I'm just going to sing for you guys if you don't mind. I think it's a great idea. I hope you think it's a great idea. <laughs> so anyways. Darling, stay with me. I, you're all I need. I don't know the words to the song. But I love sadness. Oh, 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 oh. Don't stay with me. This I love is clear to see. But darling, stay with me. As you can see here, I'm trying to remove all the adhesive, and I did a pretty good job, as you can see. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that it makes like this liquid type of material, and you can still remove it off, um, and the liquid becomes kind of like, it becomes hard, and it turns into like debris, and then you'll see in the next clip, um, all I do is basically just sweep all that off, and I just sweep it into a dustpan and um, discard that. Um, just to let you guys know, this is no joke. I want to be straight up and honest with you guys. This was a lot of work, a lot of labor. It took me about four to five weeks to actually do this part of it right here, okay? It just takes a lot of your leg muscles, a lot of your arm muscles, a lot of your woman power. 
Now, I just want to let you guys know that there is a machine that you can actually rent from Home Depot. It's like a buffer machine and it basically takes all the adhesive off. And I tried that route. Trust me, I couldn't get that bad boy out of my car, okay? They put it in the trunk of my car when I got home. I couldn't take it out of my car. <laughs> I couldn't move that thing. So if you want to try that, more power to you. But girl, I couldn't do that. So I had to keep checking along and keep doing this. Wasted money trying to rent that um, equipment. But yeah, I had to do this the manual way. Like the most possible hardest way. <laughs> So anyways, you can see me kind of um, sweeping all that debris and adhesive and extra dust or what have you. And yeah, so let's sing again. This is the awesome liquid. You see, it removes adhesive. Now, this was only a dollar, so I figure why not use it? It's only a buck. Whatever I can help, whatever can help me get this off, I'm going to try it. And as you can see here, when I brush um, the liquid... You can still see a lot of the adhesive. I'm not going to say it was like, oh my gosh, the bomb.com, like it really helped, but it did help me some, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? The adhesive is a lot more powerful, but this helps a little bit with the cost so that way you're not using so much of the adhesive because I bought four of those adhesive and it's expensive. Now, as you can see here, I'm um, watering down the floor and if you use a little pressure when you water it down, you could get some of the loose adhesive pieces off as you can see right here now I did a lot of YouTubing trying to figure out how to do this before I try to do this and it said that you can use hot water but for me the hot water did not work I know for some other people the hot water did help remove the adhesive off for me nope it didn't work I had to use 100% woman power so yeah back to the singing darling stay with me Darling, you're all I need. Okay, so concrete patcher. So I use this concrete patcher right here to um, fill up the cracks in the concrete. Now, let me tell you something about the cracks. If the cracks was like scattered throughout the concrete, to be honest, I would have left the cracks. I think that would have been really nice. That would have been dope. It would have looked very, uh, it would have had a lot of character to it. It would have looked you know, old and rustic, but the pa the um, crack was just right in the middle of the concrete floor, so I was not feeling that, so I went ahead and patched that up, and I did a pretty good job. I should have used gloves, to be honest, but at this point, I think I was just tired, but I used my scraper to smooth everything out, and it came out pretty good, so I can't really complain. Now the corners here was pretty dirty and yucky and it had like a lot of dirt and debris and such. So I kind of basically just washed out the floor really good with a sponge and some basically, you know, soap and water. And as you can see here, I'm at like week four still trying to remove adhesive, okay? So basically I'm just going to, you know, discard that. Now here's this heavy duty citrus degreaser. Now this stuff smells so good now I use this because I just want to make sure nothing was on the floor the floor has to be clean and bare so I just want to make sure if there's any grease or any oils all that stuff will be gone this stuff smells so good it smells like you're in a tropical island surrounded by citrus by tangerines oranges and lemon it just makes you want to kiss somebody Mwah. smells so good so anyways as you can see here, I have some water. It looks like there's soap on it, but it's not. Just to get all of that. And look at this. Voila! The concrete is bare. There's no more adhesive. I have a blank canvas. Looks so beautiful. Like, this is where you want your concrete to be. Once you get do all that hard work, this is what you want your concrete to look like. Bare and clean and dry and yeah so this is the first coat of paint that I use I use this very pretty I call it delicate this looks so delicate like it's it's just pretty like a pretty delicate cotton candy or something I don't know but what I did I said you know what I worked so hard so I really wanted to make sure that my walls wasn't getting paint on I didn't want to 
make a mess with the paints because I worked so hard to, you know, get my floors prepared. So what I did, I painted the corners first with a small paintbrush. Took my time so that way, like I said, it won't get on the walls. And of course I had Maddie help me. Of course she wanted to help me, but I did not let her get to the corners so that way she doesn't get them on the wall. So I did the whole corners first, which I think was a brilliant idea because then you don't have to worry about it getting on the wall and it gives you that professional, clean look. So that's what I did. I painted the corners. I said that like 50 times. I should have just sung instead of repeating myself over and over again. So darling, stay with me. You see the corners? Beautiful. La 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 la. The corners are pretty. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so now I'm doing the middle. And so in the next clip, you're going to see the whole thing painted in this beautiful color. Dun, 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 dun. Darling, stay with me. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so I like this color, but I wanted some, uh, I wanted some, some something to it. So I, you know, purchased this darker turquoise and I was like, I'm going to add some depth. I'm going to make it pop. I'm going to make this thing just be like, bam, like, whoa, whoa. I just want somebody walking the patio like, wow. So anyways, I used my little sponge here. And I did a little, you know, a little sponge sponge here, whatever, you know, add some little depth, you know what I'm saying, some dimension or whatever. <laughs> and I didn't like it. I was like, no, no. And I'm just showing you guys that I am human. I make mistakes and I did not like this. Maybe you might like it. So that's why I'm showing you this clip right here. But I was not feeling it at all. So this is what it looked like in picture format. Not too bad, but it just wasn't for me, you know what I'm saying? So I tried another technique, okay? So I tried to sprinkle it, like, in dots and, like, some crazy design. I don't know. I was swerving it all on the floor, thinking I was from some artist from, I don't know, London, Paris? I don't know, but it wasn't working. And, you know, to be honest, if I would have gave it, a day maybe I would have been like you know what I like this but I didn't even give it a day I didn't even give it a day so this was the technique that I was trying to come up with but the lighter color ended up looking gray in person and I was not feeling that that was the problem I think I should have used maybe like gold or something to make it pop and maybe like a goldish brown or I don't know and maybe mix it with the darker turquoise I don't know but I was not feeling this but this is what it looks like and I was like, nah, I don't like it. But like I said, maybe if I gave myself a day to sleep on it, think about it, look at it. But I didn't do that. I just, this is what I did, guys. I painted it over with a darker turquoise. And I was in love. I love the results. I must say, I'm not going to lie. like it a lot. I hope you like it too. So this is um, the final results, okay? Um, this is what it's looking like in light or whatever. In person, it's a darker color. In the next clip, you will see the true color, I would like to say. You know, sometimes when you put things on YouTube or you take pictures of things, it doesn't show the actual color. Um, so this clip right here, this is the darker color. This is the actual color, but right now this is where it's drying. This is the color that is showing in my camera, and that's it, guys. If opportunity doesn't knock, be the door. Holla. I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.